In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, for the sake of the prayers of thy most pure Mother, and of all the saints, have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and feelest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Having risen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one. In the angelical hymn we cry aloud to thee, O mighty one. Holy, holy, holy art thou, God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep, as I raise me up, O Lord, enlighten my mind and heart, and open my lips, that I may hymn thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, the deeds of each shall be laid bare, but with fear do we cry at midnight. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. As I arise from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, for through thy great goodness and patience thou hast not been angry with me, an idler and sinner, nor hast thou destroyed me with mine iniquities, but shown thy usual love for mankind. And when I was prostrate in despair, thou hast raised me up to keep the morning watch and to glorify thy power. And now enlighten my mind's eye, and open my mouth, that I may meditate on thy words, and understand the commandments, and do thy will. In him thee in heartfelt confession, and sing praises thy all holy name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and God. Have mercy in me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to them all to thy compassion, but of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and sins that my mother bare me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me a joy of thy salvation, with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, that should open my lips, and my mouth should declare thy praise, for thou hast desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and good pleasure as thine, let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God, a true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things are made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and arose again on the third day according to the Scriptures. 
and ascended into the heavens, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, In one holy Catholic and apostolic church I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, for I have never done anything good in thy sight, but deliver me from the evil one. And let thy will be done in me, that I may open mine unworthy mouth without condemnation. And praise in all holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having risen from sleep, I offer unto thee, O Savior, the midnight hymn, and falling down, I cry unto thee. Grant me not to fall asleep in the death of sin, but have compassion on me, O thou was voluntarily crucified. And hasten to raise me, who am reclining in idleness, and save me in prayer and intercession. And after a night's sleep, shine upon me a sinless day, O Christ God, and save me. Having risen from sleep, I hasten to thee, O Master and lover of mankind, and by thy loving kindness I strive to do thy work, and I pray to thee. Help me at all times in everything, and deliver me from every worldly evil thing and every impulse of the devil. And save me, and lead me to thine eternal kingdom, for thou art my creator and giver and provider of everything good. And in thee is all my hope, and unto thee do I send up glory, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, in thine abundant goodness and thy great compassion has granted me thy servant to go through the time of the night that is past without attack from any opposing evil. Do thou thyself, O Master, creator of all things, who hast saved me by thy true light, with an enlightened heart to do thy will, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, Almighty God of hosts of all flesh, who dwellest in high and lookest down on things that are lowly, who searchest the heart and innermost being, and clearly for knowest the secrets of men. O unoriginate and everlasting light, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Do thou, O mortal King, receive our supplications, which we, daring because of the multitude of thy compassions, offer thee at the present time from defiled lips, and forgive us our sins, indeed, word and thought, whether committed by us knowingly or in ignorance, and cleanse us from every defilement of flesh and spirit. And grant us to pass through the night of the whole present life with the watchful heart of sober thought, ever expecting the coming and bright appointed day of thine only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, whereon the Judge of all shall come with glory to reward each according to his deeds. May we not be found fallen and idle, but watching and upright in activity, ready to accompany him in the joy of the divine palace of his glory, where there is ceaseless sound of those that keep festival and the unspeakable delight of those that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. For thou art the true light that enlightens and sanctifies all, and all creation doth him the end to the ages of ages. Amen. We bless thee, O most high God, Lord of mercy, whoever doest with us great things, both inscrutable, both glorious and awesome, of which there is no measure, who grantest to us sleep from the rest from our infirmities and relaxation from the labors of the much toiling flesh. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us with our iniquities, but shown thy loving kindness to man as usual. And where we were lying in despair upon our beds, thou hast raised us up that we might glorify thy dominion. Wherefore we implore thy boundless goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our mind from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouth and fill it with thy praise, that we may be able steadily to him and confess thee, who are God glorified in all, and by all the unoriginate Father, the only begotten Son, and thine all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I sing of thy grace, O Sovereign Lady, and I pray to thee to grace my mind. Teach me to step aright in the way of Christ's commandments. Strengthen me to keep awake in song and drive away the sleep of despondency. O Bride of God, by thy prayers, release me bound with the bonds of sin. Guard me by night and by day and deliver me from foes that defeat me. O Bearer of God, the life-giver, enliven me who am deadened by passions. O Bearer of the unwinning light, enlighten my blinded soul. O Marvelous Palace and the Master, make me to be a house of the Divine Spirit. O bear of the healer, heal the perennial passions of my soul. Guide me to the path of repentance where I am tossed in the storm of life. Deliver me from eternal fire, from evil worms, and from Tartarus. Let me not be exposed to the rejoicing of demons, guilty as I am of many sins. Renew me, grown old, from senseless sins, O most immaculate one. Present me untouched by all torments, and pray for me to the Master of all. Thou save me to find the joys of heaven with all the saints, O most holy virgin, hearken unto the voice of thine unprofitable servant. Grant me torrents of tears, O most pure one, to cleanse my soul from impurity. I offer the groans of my heart to thee unceasingly. Strive for me, O sovereign lady, accept my service of supplication, offer to compassion of God. 
O thou who art above the angels, raise me above the world's confusion. O light bearing heavenly tabernacle, direct the grace of the Spirit in me. I raise my hands and lips in thy praise, defiled as they are by many impurity. O immaculate one, deliver me from soul corrupting evils, and fervently intercede with Christ, to whom is due honor and worship, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O my plentifully merciful and all merciful God, Lord Jesus Christ, to thy great love thou didst come down and become incarnate, so thou mightest save all. And again, O Savior, save me by thy grace, I pray thee. For if thou shouldst save me from my works, this would not be a grace or a gift, but rather a duty. Yea, thou who art great in compassion and effable in mercy. For he that believeth in me, thou hast said, O my Christ, shall live and never see death. If then faith in thee saveth the desperate, behold, I believe, save me, for thou art my God and Creator. Let faith instead of works be imputed to me, O my God, for thou wilt find no works which could justify me. But may my faith suffice instead of all works, may it answer for, may it acquit me, may it make me a partaker of thine eternal glory. And let Satan not seize me and boast a word that he hath thrown me from my hand and fold. But whether I desire to not save me, O Christ, my Savior, forestall me quickly, quickly, for I perish. Thou art my God from my mother's womb, thou save me, O Lord, to love thee now as I fervently once loved sin itself and also to work for thee without idleness, diligently as I work before for deceptive Satan. But supremely shall I work for thee, my Lord and God, Jesus Christ, all the days of my life, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. O holy angel that standeth my rear, wretched soul and passionate life, forsake not me a sinner, nor shrink from me because of mine intemperance. Give no place for the cunning demon to master me through the violence of my mortal body. Strengthen my poor and feeble hand, guide me in the way of salvation. You, holy angel of God, guardian and protector of my wretched soul and body, forgive me wherein I have offended thee all the days of my life. And if I have sinned during the past night, protect me during the present day, and guard me from every temptation of the enemy, that I may not anger my God by any sin. And pray the Lord for me, that he may establish me in his fear, and show me his servant to be worthy of his goodness. Amen. O my most lady Theotokos, they are holy, all-powerful prayers. Banish from me thy lowly and wretched servant, despondency, forgetfulness, folly, carelessness, and all filthy, evil, and blasphemous thoughts from my wretched heart and darkened mind, and quench the flame of my passions for I am poor and wretched, and deliver me from any cruel memories and deeds, and free me from all their evil effects. For blessed art thou by all generations, and glorify thy most honorable name unto the ages of ages. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, forgive our iniquities through the intercession of thy most pure mother. Save thy suffering people from the yoke of the godless authority. Amen. Pray unto God for me, O holy God, pleaser, for I fervently flee unto thee, the speedy helper and intercessor of my soul. O Theotokos and virgin rejoice, Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, for thou hast born the savior of our souls. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless and inheritance, grant thou victory to orthodox Christians over enemies, and by the power of thy cross do they preserve thy commonwealth. Remember, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, thy mercies and compassions, which are from the ages and for the sake of which thou hast become man, and dost be endure the crucifixion and death for the salvation of those that rightly believe in thee. Having risen from the dead, didst descend into the heavens and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and regardest the humble entreaties of those that call upon thee with all their heart, incline thine ear and hearken unto thy humble supplication of me, that unprofitable servant as an odor of spiritual fragrance which I offer to thee for all thy people, and first remember thy holy Catholic and apostolic church, which thou hast provided through thy honorable blood, establish and strengthen, expand, increase, pacify, keep her unconquerable by the gates of Hades, calm the dissensions of the churches, quench the ragings of the nations, and quickly destroy and uproot the rising of heresy, and bring them all, not by the power of the Holy Spirit. Save, O Lord, and have mercy in our land, and all the Orthodox people throughout the world. Save, O Lord, and have mercy on the Orthodox Patriarchs, Metropolitans, Archbishops, Bishops, all the priestly monastic order, and all who serve in the Church, whom Thou hast appointed to shepherd Thy rational flock, and through their prayers have mercy and save me a sinner. Save, O Lord, and have mercy in our spiritual fathers, and through their prayers forgive us our sins. Save, O Lord, and have mercy in my parents, brothers, sisters, my kindred according to the flesh, and all neighbors of my family and friends, and grant them Thine earthly spiritual good things. Save, O Lord, have mercy in the aged, the young, the poor, the orphans and widows, those in sickness and sorrow, misfortune, tribulation, those in difficult circumstances and in captivity, in prisons and dungeons, 
especially those of thy servants that are persecuted for thy sake and for the orthodox faith by godless peoples, by apostates, by heretics, and remember them, visit, strength, and comfort, and by thy power quickly grant them relief, freedom, and deliverance. Save, O Lord, and have mercy on them that hate and wrong me, and them that make temptation for me, and let them not perish because of me, a sinner. Illumine with the light of awareness the apostates from the orthodox faith and those blinded by pernicious heresies, and number them with thy holy apostolic Catholic Church. Remember, O Lord, those who have departed this life, orthodox kings and queens, princes and princesses, holy patriarchs, most reverend metropolitans, orthodox archbishops and bishops, those in priestly and clerical orders of the church, and all those that have served thee in the monastic order, and grant them rest with the saints of thine eternal tabernacles. Remember, O Lord, the souls of thy departed servants, my parents, and all my kindred according to the flesh, forgive them all transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, granting them the kingdom, the portion of eternal good things, and the light of thy endless blessed life. Remember, O Lord, all those, also all our fathers and brethren and sisters, those that lie here and all orthodox Christians that depart in the hope of the resurrection of life eternal, and settle them with thy saints, where the light of thy countenance shall visit them, and have mercy on us, for thou art good and the lover of mankind. Grant, O Lord, remission of sins to our fathers, brethren, and sisters that have de departed before us in the faith and hope of the resurrection, and make their memory to be eternal. It is truly meet to bless thee, the Theotokos, ever blessed and most blameless, Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption give us to God the word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, O Lord bless, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, for the sake of the prayers of thy most pure mother, for our holy and God-bearing fathers, and of all the saints, have mercy on us. Amen.